Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm Cody. So let's get started. Um, I just wanted to introduce myself and uh, tell everyone a little bit about myself. So uh, a year and a half ago, I went on a mission to upgrade myself. And uh, there was just a lot of issues I was having. So I decided to go ahead and um, start studying the brain. And one thing that I, that I found while I was studying the brain is that there are a lot, a lot of huge benefits from meditating, as I'm sure a lot of you already know. So I started meditating every day a year and a half ago, and it's really what changed everything for me. Uh, for me personally, I, I've now lost 130 pounds and uh, I've been able to uh, just kind of make those lifestyle changes and keep to it. And I most definitely would not have been able to do it if I wasn't uh, meditating or I didn't have my mind right. It's, it makes all my decisions just easier and better. Uh, one thing that I thought was really, really interesting and really cool is they've been taking spec scans of the brain during meditating and it actually increases blood, blood flow to your brain and uh, helps you kind of get into all the different brain states a lot easier. So it's, it's just really, really fascinating what's going on. Also, I want to just put out there, if anybody has any questions, feel free to, to pipe in and, and ask away. Uh, it is an introduction to meditation, so if there's anything, if I'm going too fast, if I need to explain anything more, please, please let me know. So, it's, uh, it increases blood flow, and it also starts rewiring your brain. Your, your brain starts forming new neurons, uh, new neural ways, and those neurons start talking to each other and you literally rewire your brain for for gratitude for just uh, abundance and in all the things that we're trying to produce in our life we can absolutely uh, start doing it with uh, meditating uh, i haven't used the headspace app yet that's one that i'm going to there's lots of uh, wonderful um apps out there that you can download that will help you also just maintain a meditation practice. There's also some wonderful YouTube videos that I can absolutely suggest to you guys if you're interested in that. So it, it increases resilience, increases blood flow, uh, it helps those neurons start working, and what's really, really cool is it actually uh, slows your heart rhythm down and just kind of produces all these miracle chemicals that go throughout your body. And, and start kind of supporting everything we're doing. I know that a lot of people in here are um, on a mission of health, a mission of upgrading themselves, uh, or upgrading, upgrading themselves, yeah. And it's uh, probably the best thing I can suggest to anybody is to, uh, to start meditating, to start, uh, practice even if it's just for you know two to five minutes at first anything to to kind of start getting your brain into a different brain state and start receiving those amazing benefits so uh, yeah I started October 25th of 2018 uh, every day since then and I can t absolutely tell you guys that it has accelerated accelerated my life in a way that is indescribable it's just been so so wonderful being able to uh, make make decisions from a better headspace is really what it's all about so i am gonna get into the meditating here pretty soon is there any questions Does anybody have anything that they they want to explore explain anything they want to know uh, what my favorite meditation is anything like that before I actually start the meditation <laughs> all right well <laughs> bear with me this is my first time ever hosting so it'll be a, a good one but let's uh, let's get started then let's go ahead and uh, 
get into the meditation. What I do like to do, and you guys are more than welcome to, uh, if you have the ability to at your house, is all uh, on YouTube, put on uh, Delta brainwave music, Theta brainwave music, or even uh, it's like singing bowls. It uh, just helps create a atmosphere and frequency for your brain to just kind of get into those lower brain states a little easier. So if you have that ability, I definitely suggest that it. it's something that I also do as well. All right, so let's all just start by taking a deep breath in. Let it out whenever you're comfortable. All right, so let's close your eyes and get into whatever position you're most comfortable in. Take a deep breath. Let it out. Now I'm going to take you through a quick relaxation of your body. Let's take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, let's relax your forehead and your eyebrows. Flowing down, let's feel those eyelids relax. Now your cheeks and your tongue, let your whole jaw relax. Release any remaining pressure in your face. Take a deep breath in. Now moving down, let's let your neck and your shoulders relax. Let those shoulders drop as you release any tension from your day. Let's take a breath in. Now feel your biceps relax and your arms, your upper arms, your elbows, and your lower arms. Feel your hands and your fingers relax. Take a deep breath in. And release the muscles in your chest and your torso. Let it flow down to your abs and your waist. Now feel your thighs and your knees relax. Let that flow down to your calves. So let your feet and your toes completely relax. Now feel any remaining tension, just feel it flow throughout the bottom of your body and out of you. Release any tension that you may have remaining in your body. That'll bring us to phase one. Now I want you to imagine a bright light coming from your heart. Now take a deep breath and expand that light to go throughout your entire body. Feel it all the way down to your knees, to your toes, all the way up to your head. Now take a deep breath. Let that expand to cover the room that you're in. Now let's expand that a little further. Expand that light to cover your entire home and any living creature, anybody that may be in that home. Take a deep breath. Let's expand that light out to your neighborhood, out to every living creature, every living thing, every child, parent, pet, any living creature in your neighborhood. Let's take a deep breath. Let's expand that light 
to cover your entire city or town. Give a little blessing to everybody living in that city. Send a little empathy to everybody in your town. Now take a deep breath to expand the light to cover your country. Let's take a deep breath and expand it out to cover the entire planet Earth, every living being on planet Earth. and empathy and compassion and love in these times of uncertainty. Oh, this brings us to the end of phase one. Let's go to phase two, gratitude. I want you to bring to mind three to five things from this past week in your personal life that you're grateful for. Feel the emotion behind these moments. This could be a kind word from a friend or a cup of coffee in the morning or enjoying a warm shower. Anything that makes you grateful and happy. I want you to bring to mind your work or career. Think about two things from your work that you're grateful for. Some help from a coworker, some kindness from a customer. Maybe you have an amazing boss that you're grateful for. Feel the emotion behind those moments. Completely step into that moment. Now let's bring to mind something about yourself, some trait that you're grateful for, something that you absolutely love about you. Maybe you're hardworking. Maybe you have an abundance of compassion or love. Feel anything about yourself that makes you proud and happy. Now take a deep breath. And exhale. Brings us to phase three, forgiveness. Bring to mind something from your past week that caused a negative charge within yourself. Think about that situation or that person that caused a negative charge. Imagine them standing in front of you. Now, just for a moment, I want you to feel the pain and emotion from this moment. Feel any anger that may have arised. Now I want you to stop for a moment and put yourself in the other person's shoes. See through their eyes and their perception. Think about why they may have done what they've done to hurt you. It may help to remember the phrase that hurt people hurt people.
Now, as you imagine them standing in front of you, I want you to forgive them. Say in your mind, I forgive you. And that charge no longer has any power over me. Let the emotion of compassion flow through you. Now take a deep breath. And release. Now to bring us to phase four. This is the future, the future that you wish to create. So most people underestimate what they can do in three years and overestimate what they can do in one year. So I want you to imagine for a moment what you want to accomplish in the next three years. I want you to imagine what your life will look like. How will your career look like? Will you be climbing up further in your current job? Will you be changing jobs? Will you be starting your own career? How will your finances look like? What does abundance look like to you? How will your home life look like? Will you be in the same house? Will you be somewhere completely different? Where will your family be? Will you have new kids at home? Will you have no kids at home? Where would you like to travel and go on an adventure? How will your body look like? What do you want to happen with your health? I'm gonna give you just a minute to imagine what your dream and perfect life will look like three years from now. Imagine that perfect home, a perfect career, that level of abundance that you've always wanted. Now take a deep breath. And exhale. That'll bring us to phase five, your daily life. I want you to imagine just waking up tomorrow morning, that you're going through your routine, you're getting up, you're taking a shower, having coffee. Imagine your commute to work, if you have a commute. Imagine that commute going perfectly. Imagine when you get to work, all the interactions with your coworkers, all the interactions with your career, with your customers, everything going at peace and ease. Everything you touch, going exactly or better than you wanted. Imagine all your interactions. Imagine after work, hanging out with your friends or your family. 
perhaps doing sessions with the client. I want you to imagine these going beautifully and perfectly. Imagine your dinner and after dinner time, your personal time. Imagine yourself going to bed and getting that perfect night's rest. Reset in your brain and getting ready to do it all over again. Take a deep breath. And release. And that'll bring us to phase six. A blessing from your higher power. Imagine for a moment a light coming down on your head. Bright light coming down from your higher power or the universe or whatever you call it. Imagine this light flowing down through your body, warming every part of your body, flowing down through your head, through your neck, down through your shoulders, straight into your heart, down through your torso, through your legs, down, through your knees, through your feet, and back up, filling every part of your body. Accept that love, that blessing from the universe, from your higher power. Now take a deep breath. And release. And you are done with meditation. I'm going to count to five. And at five, you will wake up, you'll come to, you will fill completely relaxed, completely at ease, and in a completely different brain space. One, two, starting to come up, starting to feel blood flow to your fingers, flow to your feet. Move around a little bit. Three, four, and five. Go ahead and open your eyes. Mm. How do you guys feel? So good. <laughs> Hopefully a little relaxed. Oh, that was my version of the six phase meditation. Uh, I will post a link on the Facebook group um, in the comments so you guys can go to it. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite go-tos. Uh, it's, it's just a very simple, easy guided meditation that uh, I find very, very useful in, in my practice. So before we end, we're, we're almost to the end here. I just wanted to give you guys some um, wonderful things to help your brain uh, rewire and, and get all those uh, benefits that I was talking about even more so. And two of the most powerful ways to do that, to create more gratitude in your daily life, is right before you're winding down and going to bed for the night, is keep a, a gratitude journal. I'll write down two to five things from your day that you're grateful for. And 
what happens as you sleep is your subconscious actually starts looking for more things to be grateful for. It actually starts rewiring your brain. The other thing that I would highly encourage someone to do, and it's probably my favorite meditation because it's so easy. It's called the 10 second meditation. And this came from the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama was asked, what is the best way someone can create more happiness in their life? And his response was, whenever you remember, look for the next two people in the room and simply send happiness out to them for the next 10 seconds, five seconds in each person. And what it will do for you is it will create an abundance of gratitude in your life and really, really start rewiring those neurons to start searching for those moments of gratitude and happiness. It's pretty, pretty fascinating. Are there any questions before we, before we end it? Any comments, any feedback? Awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be doing another one next week. I'm very, very excited. I'll, uh, I'll have some different stuff to share with you guys next week. And thank you. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> thank you, Cody. That was amazing. So good. Mm -hmm. Namaste, says Nancy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Namaste. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>